Hello, we are looking at a 2018 Saber 36 BH2 uh, Cobalt Edition. This is December 2020 uh, for RV Trader. We're going to do a walkthrough primarily of the inside. I'm not sure you can walk around it outside. Uh, I got LED, extra LED lights underneath the awning, nice outdoor storage. Uh, installed, flip down, solid step. Lipper, also the bigger handrail, it's a lot more sturdier, uh, also has an extra step. This is the 36BHQ with a keyless pad entry. As we go inside, we got a coat closet. Shut the door here. All right, the inside. This came with kitchen dinette, kitchen table chairs uh, instead of the dinette. Uh, as you can see, we also have plenty of lighting in here. I've got all the lights on today. Uh, i got re dual recliners, LED lighting underneath it, and cup holders with heated and massage chairs. we got a couch. It's a trifold. Folds out into about a queen-size bed. Got end tables on both ends. Got storage above. We have a ceiling fan. We have black shape, blackout shades all the way around. I do have most of them up or partially up. Uh, we've got fireplace and TV. TV has backlighting. Also, modify it, put storage behind it. It's got a lockable swivel. It goes back in place. Latches for going down the road and store stuff behind it. With the latch helps keep stuff from falling out. And it's storage up here. Put an extra wire shelf up there. Let's lighting through, makes it eat nicer. Large pantry. Also put an extra wire shelf up there. A uh, lot of storage. Storage down by the oven. Stove top, microwave. Nice kitchen island with three drawers, some storage under it. You just keep garbage can behind it. There are nice features. All the heat ducts are in the sidewalls or in the steps and not in the floor, so you don't get crack falling down like some campers have the vents in the floor. Nice large residential fridge. Runs off 110 or can uh, has an inverter that we can switch over and run off the batteries. I've ran it 8 to 10 hours with no issues works no issues everything in here works with no issues nice light up two freezer drawers here we have the mid bunk room uh, the addition i did to this is i had a queen size bed it has, it has a rv queen size bed in it it flips up just like the bunk bed flips up flip the top bunk up latch it flip this one up you can leave pillows blankets on it a lot handier i do have the couch if somebody would rather have the couch so the queen bed it's just like the one in the living room it's a trifold uh it's at home inside so it's in great shape also have a hanging closet a storage closet below it a couple drawers has a tv this camper comes with four tvs also in here we did have a rip in the floor something got caught under the slide I'll point it out with my toes. That's where the rip was. If you look real close, you can see the seams. But the dealership fixed it. Did a very great job. Also, it's not in a high traffic area, so that's a plus. So, so also, being able to see it a little bit, it's also in an area where nobody usually is. So that's a plus. Plenty of lights in here. Uh, all these lights can be turned off individually also. Some are on wall switches. Some are can only be turned on and off by uh, touching the light itself. I uh, got an outdoor weather station. Outdoor indoor temperature. Uh, I will let go of the camper. Got heating AC controls. Slide out control for the mid bunk room. Over here at top, we have the touch display for the leveling. Also has some videos and manuals on it. Uh, it's auto leveling or you can also do it manually uh, this is the inverter button turn that on makes the fridge run off the batteries instead of 110 you got your uh, hot water heater 
uh, hot water heater is gas and electric. Have your gray, black, and fresh water tank uh, level indicators. Also your pump for your water pump. Awning switch. Slide out for the dining room, uh, the recliners and table, and this one's for the kitchen slide out. Uh, switches for here in the kitchen, here the alley, uh, LED backlit behind the oven. The other one is for underneath the awning outside. Also installed LED strips on the steps so at night when you go up to use the bathroom you can see where the edge of steps are and you don't trip. You don't have to turn lights on real bright. Also installed a handle for getting up and down. This one didn't come with a handle, the new ones do, so I installed my own very sturdy. Have a lighter. Gets up to the loft area. Loft, put an extra padding underneath the padding that came with it. Also has a TV with a remote. Plenty of room. I have three to four of my nephews sleep up there together, so. The bathroom. Nice large tri-slide uh, glass door for the shower. Uh, probably have probably could be six foot six, almost seven foot, and still stand straight upright in. A lot of room, a lot of nice height. Also upgrade the bathroom faucet. Uh, put a little bigger one, a little taller, runs a little better, a little better built than the last one. Also has night light underneath the medicine cabinet. So at night you got a nice night light in there so you're not turning all the lights on if you don't want to. Also has exhaust fan, uh, a vent with exhaust fan. Has porcelain toilet, foot control flush, storage underneath there. We got nice deep storage up here in both of them. Also have a hair dryer mounted on the wall. Go to the master bedroom. We have a king size bed, little nightstands on each side, and enough room to set a phone. There's also USB ports and 110 outlets on both sides of the bed. Slide out for the bed for this room. Light control in here, AC control for the front master bedroom. This switch here is the head control, so this bed tilts. You can raise the head of it. To sit up partially or straight upright at night. Also has reading lights. They're blue right now. Hit a button, they turn white. Hit them again, they turn off. Uh, not offered on the new ones. That's something nice. Also, the tilt bed on the new BHQs uh, is no longer offered either. So, nice big front closet hanging all the way. Shelves in the front. Also has washer dryer hookup. I do have a washer dryer combo sitting here that I never did install. It is used. If somebody wants to pay a little extra, I'm willing to let it go. TV mount here, DVD player, sound bar. That's all going with it. Got a nice dresser right here. All in all, nice camper, nice long, plenty of room. Uh, plenty of room to, to sleep in here. Uh, any questions, just uh, email me. Thank you.